Hello, folks, this is Black Cross here with Delmar here. Wait, this isn't my channel. No, uh, but. What am I doing here? I just got off work. What am I doing here? So have I. Don't feel too bad. Well, anyway, folks, as you all know, I'm a big fan of Kingdom Hearts, and Delmar here is just an equal mu much of a fan of Kingdom Hearts yeah, as I am. Although I will admit, I kind of backed away from Kingdom Hearts for a while because they kept. Doing so many portable releases. So he's kind of behind, but he's catching up thanks to the HD uh, re-releases. Yeah, and to be fair, I much I uh, I just got done with uh, well, I'm playing Kingdom Hearts 2 right now, and I did recoded, which I'm glad I prefer watching the cutscenes because playing the game would been would tedious to say at least. But right. we're not talking about that. We're talking about this uh, trailer from uh, right. Jump Feast well, 2015. Right, Jump Fist. Well. As was, as I'm sure most of you know, Jump Fest is basically an anime thing that is usually in Japan, and it's the type of thing that Square Enix usually attends to announce any other upcoming games that might be revealed in the upcoming year. Mm -hmm. Well, from what we know so far, 2.8 was going to make an appearance, but recently, as of yesterday, everyone was talking about it. Well, not yesterday, uh, Thursday, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Thursday. It was Thursday. Thursday, everyone was hyped up about it because Square Enix posted this on their Twitter on their Twitter account that they were going to show Kingdom Hearts 2.8 as well as a new trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3. And we and, finally got well, we got a lot on YouTube, so yeah. I'm excited to watch I, it. Yeah, I mean, this is this is going to be crazy. So chances are, the both of us are going to act like a bunch of idiots. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and have this trailer set up. And then Delmar, when I told him about it, he wanted to get involved. So I was like, I'm why hope, not? I'm hoping for either Robin Hood or Black Cauldron to be in Kingdom Hearts. We're hoping to see more added on to this. So chances just, are, just saying. whatever this trailer is going to show us, we're going to act like a bunch of little kids. So it was nice knowing you before we lose our folks because we'll be screaming in joy. So chances are, we're going to be losing our mostly brain. you, but. You know, right? Like, but anyway, just get started. Get started. Play it. Play it. Play okay. the trailer. Play it right now. I don't care. I'm nervous. Click the button. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Blah blah blah. What are you doing? Come down. I still can't get over oh, this is 2.8. I mean, 2. Point. No, this is actually Kingdom Hearts 3. Really? I thought it was 2.8. No, it's Kingdom Hearts 3. Okay. That is... Oh my gosh, Master Yang Sid. He actually looks a lot better in this. He looks so amazing. This Mickey looks a bit different. Well, that's because he had a haircut. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, you missed a lot in uh, Dream Drop Distance. Oh, this is going for the Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Oh, Final yeah, chapter. that's right. This is the. Uh, what's back cover? That's the HD cinematics of Kingdom Hearts Chi, uh, Chi that was released uh, for oh. the cell phones. Okay, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Basically, it's like the Isn't back that the one with the, like, the different art style. Or? Uh, yeah, it's basically the backstories of the entire Kingdom Hearts series, way back before Birth by Sleep. Basically, oh, the sure. conjuring up of the. Yeah, there's a lot you missed out, so don't feel bad. Yeah, but that's one thing that kind of. Uh, well, the good thing is with 2.8, at least you'll be caught up with everything. Okay. So that's a good thing. <laughs> I mean, even I don't know about Chi, so don't feel too bad. We don't have smartphones. We still don't. We still got yeah. flip phones. So don't feel too bad. But still, this this looks really good. I still can't wait for it to come out. I hope it's it comes come next year. Is it? Two point eight definitely come out next year. I'm hoping. Oh. It's two point three on one. Okay, Dream Drop Distance. Yeah. 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 Oh no, multiple swords, I'm scared. Yeah, you're gonna be really confused in Green Drop Distance. I'm gonna tell you that right Don't now. Don't spoil anything, because I am gonna be lost this time. I haven't. I've been keeping it quiet for, what, a year now? Longer than that? Two years, actually. Yeah, I forgot how long... To, I forgot how long uh, Green Drop Distance been out, so... So... Yeah, you're gonna be really lost. Trust me. Just... Oh, well, I know the whole about that. Yeah. 
俺を通してみんなの心が力になればいい This is the first half. 流れ心が俺の力だ I'm wondering about the combat system for this one. It's just the fact that it's going to be on an actual console system and not on the handheld. I'm curious as to how well they've done it. Really curious because it, it's, it's going to be really interesting. I am the unicorn wizard. <laughs> That's our mom, by the way. Is that it? Oh, that, that was, is it. That was it. Okay, not. They didn't reveal any new worlds, but for the Yuxi video. Well, Yuxi I'm sure they're trying to keep as much as they can, not to spoil as much, until the oh, actual release oh, yeah, date comes to be, because as we saw, it is still in development. But the Yuxi um, kind of almost out of, like, almost near the final stages of the well, game. From what I've read so far, they're like doing small little touches here and there. They're trying to make the grass look more crisp. They're trying to add more detail to it, which is very noticeable with the raspberry itself, which I'm sure I'll probably do. They're like kind a, of fluffy and huggable. <laughs> well, as long as no don't offense, I'm sure everyone agrees mm -hmm. the heartless are literally, with the exception of like the final boss with Ansem, all the heartlesses are basically uh, plushy. <laughs> yeah, everyone can agree that all the heartless with the exception heartless. with the exception of Ansem final form, all the heartlesses are plush like. So That's, it only well, makes okay, sense. Maybe not the light bulb heartlesses near the end, those and you know, Well they are kinda like light bulbs. All the dark uh dark ball heartlesses or the invincible heartless Okay. We yeah, put it that okay, way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how about a majority, a majority in a hug of all the West <laughs> will want to stab you in the spine. Right. Pretty much. But, uh, I, I have to say, whew. nothing too different this Right, time. but what, now that we actually saw, like, Mickey and Yang sit, how do you feel about it? What do you, what's your overall opinion on it so far? Well, I really don't know what to expect for, for Kingdom Hearts Fleet, because again, I am behind the series. I love the games. In fact, I'm doing a gonna do a special Delmar show episode on Kingdom Hearts in the future. But like, right. um, it looks really interesting. The combat system looks. It, it still has some Kingdom Hearts too, like the part where Sora, air uh, like uh, hovers over to the other Hollises. It looks like some kind of quick time event, but it looks uh, pretty fun and. Uh, 
I'm really, I really like the idea of them taking the Disneyland, Disney World attractions and using them as summits this time. That part looks pretty cool, I have to say. Right, and, and that's what makes it more interesting, the fact that everyone found out that that's something that people are using. So far we have the bus like you ride, uh, the train, the train ride, and then... The teacup ride, most definitely. And then there's uh, the ship... Uh, I forgot the name of the attraction, the ship ride that goes back and forth in the water. Yeah, the ship, yeah. I forgot the... I, I'm sorry if I'm bad with my Disneyland attractions, but uh, those are the only ones I think they'll probably have more. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if... Wouldn't it be cool if they had, like, the Tower of Terror attraction? <laughs> That'd be interesting. That would be awesome. I would totally like that, even though I'm so... Sea Storm, bob all the way up and then just slam down on enemy, just cause an earthquake <laughs> shattering. That's cra That's an actual interesting idea. Square Enix, take that idea. We and won't, then, you won't, we and won't then charge just for it. And just for the heck of all, it's a small world after all. Every time that song plays, Hollis's health decreases a little at a time. <laughs> Oh, the song. Um, just brainstorming me at this point. That that's, makes sense, yeah. That's one thing I but, like about Kingdom Hearts is not, with all the, there's so many Disney franchises, movies, and such that they have so much ideas to And they keep still got more that they can add on to there. Like you said, they can easily add on uh, uh, Robin Hood and the Black Cauldron. They and can Gravity easily... Falls. That will make my dream come true, just to have Gravity Falls if as a If they do world. that, I want them to put in Duckbird from you mean, DuckTales. Du and Doc Green Duck. Yeah, I mean, seriously. And, and Tailspin. And, um... Because remember, this is a TV show we're talking about. Wait, is, is Gravity Falls on Disney? Yes, it's oh. Disney XD. Okay, that's why. Okay, it's I was trying Disney to think. Show. I was like, isn't that a Cartoon Network? But, yeah, okay, anyway. Um, personally, for me, I'm... Despite what we have seen so far, even if we're being little... There are little details in this that is very noticeable. Very noticeable that, that I really enjoy. And one thing I actually like is that they, um, in the first Kingdom Hearts trailer, and you, if you compare the very first one... Like to back this, at 2013. Uh, they redid the whole thing in Unreal 4, is it? I don't remember. It's like they took it, they decided to remake it to a completely new game engine, and it looks really good. Uh, you can definitely tell major improvement of quality Judging by the Twilight Town setting, it looks uh, a whole lot better than it first appeared. So, I don't know what engine they're using, but still, it looks pretty good. I'm glad they got the change. Well, what's even more interesting is the fact that the attraction flow rise isn't the only thing that they're adding on to there. There's also the Keyblade tr transformations, which you're aware of, aren't you? Uh, you saw the gun-wielding one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's also another... Uh, Keyblade transformation where it's basically from Hercules World and it transforms into a Pegasus with Sora riding onto it and summoning lightning bolts. Oh, okay. I now know yeah, what you're talking about. Yeah, you saw, okay, saw that. Okay, you have saw that one. Good. I saw it in the trailers. But so. there are other Keyblade transformations. I thought that was like a character assist. Nope, okay. that's actually a Keyblade transformation. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, there are some analyst trailers out there that you, you can really notice. But I try not to spoil myself. There's a Keyblade transformation, but there's talk that they're even going to do regular Disney summons as well as uh, drive forms. So, you got four opportunities. I mean, you've got like a fast... And heck, why not have Final Fantasy summons? You know, why <laughs> That not? would be interesting. Just... I mean, they don't Disney, so why not have Final Fantasy? But I mean, it's a Final Fantasy Disney crossover. Personally, from the way it looked, personally for me, in a small portion of the tra in the small portion of the game, I know technically you haven't played, well... Have you played Birth by Sleep? I forgot. Well, I, I played a little bit of the PSP on That's what I was saying. Taylor's you played story, a little bit. But I didn't fully complete it because... Right. It was well, do you remember the shock lock system? Yeah. From the, a small portion of the trailer where Sora was locking on to the Heartlesses, it looked like it was using the shock lock system. Yeah, you're right. It does, so, yes. in other words, it's been confirmed that they are using the shock loss system. Okay. Which is interesting, because that means that's another ability that Sora has now. Which makes Sora, which makes the game even bigger, which means you can go about the game any way you want to. Rather be normal attacks, magic, keyplay transformation, tr uh, fl uh, traction flow rise. Pretty much Sora's gotta be invincible. Yeah, but you gotta remember, too, the Heartless's AI is gonna be a lot smarter in this one. A lot smarter. They've They've said that multiple times, that the wow. AI in this game is going to be a heck of a lot smarter. So, you've got a whole arsenal of... Kingdom Hearts of Flea, welcome to die. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to be... I hope Critical... Yeah, Critical should be unlocked automatically. Because 
I don't know. I'm just thinking that after you beat it the first time through, Critical would be unlocked. Man, I have just Critical right away, like with Kingdom Hearts 2, just have it immediately right. as an option. So I'm gonna to be I'm gonna be doing it that way because I mean, why not, right? Go all, go ball blazers. <laughs> but uh, in your personal, in your honest opinion, because I know you're not a big well, you haven't played all the games as long as I'm But I do to love say. Kingdom Hearts. I really do. It's just right. sometimes the story can be a little bit right. confusing at times. But, but in your personal, honest opinion, after seeing the trailer from, like, uh, Final Chapter, Prologue, and Kingdom Hearts 3, how do you feel about Kingdom Hearts looking what it's looking like now? Do you feel like it's going the right pathway, or do you have, like, I, small nitpicks about it? I, I think it's going the right pathway, because, like... One of the things I like about Kingdom Hearts is that they felt like it ain't broke, don't fix it. And th like with Kingdom Hearts 1, there was a lot of stuff that was good, that was good first attempts. And Kingdom Hearts 2 fixed it a lot of that. Sure, there was a few parts regarding cutscenes that got... What the heck is that? Uh, and, and there was like a few nitpicks I had with Kingdom Hearts 2, but overall, it, it definitely felt a lot smoother, a lot more fun. With Kingdom Hearts 3, it definitely looks like it's gonna be another big, big attempt, and it's gonna do a lot more improvements. And one of the things I can't wait to see is all the new worlds, because they said they're gonna have tons of new worlds instead of returning ones. Right, and even if there was like some returning worlds, like it'll be like Olympic Olympic Coliseum, Coliseum. Um, it is going to be a completely new world altogether. Because yeah. from the way they said, basically you're going to Mount Olympus. So that means we can actually see all the. Great gods, and, that and that's what's interesting. The fact they even uh, showed off, um, I don't know if it was in D23 or not, but they showed off like the actual heaven is the haven itself where the gods are at. They showed the background of it. So, I'm, after not, you, I'm not gonna take it yet because I don't want to spoil it myself. Well, I haven't seen it either, so they haven't fully okay. released it. They, just, they, they showed it like an artwork, but they hadn't showed like the actual CG background. But they said, like, after you pass through the mountains and beat the uh. Uh, Rock Titan, you eventually enter in it. And that's what's going to be interesting is that even though you're visiting the same world, it's a whole new map. And that's what makes this so it's cool. It's a whole new world we, we live, live in. in. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for Kingdom Hearts 3. I can't wait to go and see like uh, San, San Fran Tokyo. Uh, I forgot the name of the world of the of the land that Tangle's called. I can't wait to they go to They gave Tangle. it a name, but I don't remember. Uh, I'm just excited to see all the new worlds, new possibilities, and and as uh, scary as it is to see how big the story is going to go, because, again, it it can get a bit confusing at times. Well, you'll find out how where the story goes once you play Dream Drop Distance after uh, I get done. My brain is going to be jelly. Oh, it will be. You're going to be literally scratching your head, and you're going to be coming to me, Black Cross, I expect you to explain this! I, be, I expect a 300-page essay in full detail of what the heck is going on. Because this is even, this is even more confusing than the Zelda timeline, oh, the FNAF shit. floor, the grounded falls thing, everything about it. I need answers. Personally, for me, I was more worried about the actual Disney characters themselves rather than Sora, Riku, and Kairi. Because, see, they're actual human characters. We're talking like cartoon characters. But they look fine. I mean, right. Mickey I mean, and... Because, see, here was my biggest problem. The problem was, was the fact that back in Kingdom Hearts 2 and all that stuff, we've always thought of, like, how much better can it look, right? We were all like, there's no way it could look any better. And then after seeing, like, from, like, sc uh, screenshots and everything like that, we were like, okay, never mind. And then seeing Master Yang said the way he looks, I was like... I popped and amazed by it. I was like, okay. I'm glad, they, I'm glad they're not going fully realistic with all right. the Disney characters. That's and that's the, best, that's the best way to do something like that. It's best to keep it a little cartoony, keep it in tone. But they definitely, definitely perfectly well done, I thought. They did perfectly artistically well designed it. Well, we'll have to wait to see how everyone else looks. Right. These are just two cartoon characters, but from what we've seen so far... As long as they don't make Finn from Tangled this big muscled up guy with machine guns looking from Card of Duty, bang, 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 horse attack! And the horse explodes and... Okay. Holy crap, I am messed up. Okay, but anyway, um, but now, not to spoil anything on anyone else, this is just rumor, but from what I've heard, technically they are considering putting Agrabah, uh, Halloween Town, and Pride Lands 
in Kingdom Hearts 3. This is rumored. Mm. But I don't know if it's official. But okay. would you like those three to be on there? Or would you prefer an, a different type of world well, that has appeared in Kingdom Hearts 3 or Kingdom Hearts previously that you want more of? Well, Pride Lands and Agrabah I can kind of see because since those a lot of spin-off and sequels to those, right. they can go around. But with Halloween Town, because I love Nine Before Christmas, I don't see what they can do different with them because honestly... They already done like the Nightmare Before Christmas main movie story, and then they did like the first one where Heartless invaded them and stuff. Right. So I don't know what they can do. As much as I would love to see uh, Halloween Town and uh, Jack Skeleton and glorious 1080p HD and 60 frame per second, I think it's best to just leave that alone because I don't know what they could do different. True. I mean, it would good. It would be nice to see, but honestly, I think it's best just to leave it rest and have a brand new Disney movie in or something. Right. Like. Personally, for me, if there was any reoccurring world that I would heavily would like to see, there would be two of them, and Belmar probably knows which one I'm talking about, don't you? Somewhat, right? Can I take a guess? Go ahead, I'll let you take a guess. Okay, um... Let's see. Um... Think of, like, my favorite films. You pretty much have an idea then. Okay, Beast Castle. You got one of them. Actually, name the game that the other world is at. The other world is actually in Dream Drop Distance. You pretty much know Comes right off back the bat. Notre Dame. Pretty much, yeah. I, I would love to see those I two worlds. How to, I, I mean, I don't see how they can do Beauty and the Beast. I, I can definitely see why they wouldn't be able to do it. But I just would love to see the detail that they put in Beast's Castle. Just to explore. That would make my day. And but, then Huntback in Notre Dame. Oh, well, actually, they, they could probably do that with the uh, organ from the Christmas movie. True. They probably could. Oh, see that. Ooh, that would be nice. And then uh, Huntback in Notre Dame. Just in Dream Drop Distance alone was enough of a reason for it to look as amazing as it yeah, could. Yeah, but what the heck can they do differently in this one? You never know. I mean, you, have, you can't just put a Disney world in without having to make it because you have they can't use any of the sequels the sequels they never happen <laughs> because <laughs> unless they're actual official movie yeah but like unless they can think of something very new that can still and very creative which I can understand and not just a way to say here we got this is down because everyone wanted it I don't know with Square Enix and Disney putting their heads together they can pretty much come yeah, up with a still, good one I rather prefer them to try to stick mostly new worlds right it would be nice to see like Agrabah and Prylance but I would rather leave Halloween Town out just for the sake of the story plot right. you know well actually here's something that I'll hand out to Square Enix if they want to, if they want to do something like this, add more to it, have a DLC content in which you can explore the world. doesn't have to be like story canon, where you can explore the world and fight like a secret boss uh, of those individual worlds. I'd rather not to have I any, mean, please, yeah, no I understand. Kingdom Hearts DLC, just no. I'm just saying, if they want to, they don't I have... I'd rather not, I'd rather for them to have no Kingdom Hearts DLC... It's Unless they have Robin Hood, then never mind. I can accept that. So that's like one of my okay. So in other words, if Robin movies. Hood ain't in Kingdom Hearts three, but it's going to become a DLC, I'll be buy happy. it. I'll pre-order that crap like I did with Mario Kart. <laughs> I will. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, so that's like one of my all-time favorite Disney movies, too. Ah ah ah! Or mommy. I have a dirty thumb. <laughs> we we know practically almost all the lines in almost <laughs> all of the Disney movies. That if that tells you anything about us. But anyway, yeah, wrap this up because this video is getting a bit too long. But oh like, well, we might as well consider it part of a vlog. It's it's something that's part of well, YouTube life now, anyways. Pretty much. But anyway, uh, let us know in the comments what you thought of this trailer. Did and you what, enjoy it? Uh, would you want it more? Personally, I'm kind of glad that they didn't reveal too much because then we would have been like, and not to what else can they show? And not to mention, leave what kind of Disney worlds you would like to see. Oh, Roger Rabbit. That would be a good one. Uh, there's too many cartoon characters that they probably couldn't put on there. Remember, we're talking both Disney and Looney Tunes, as well as MGM um, Studios. Technically, they don't have to show the Looney Tunes. They could just have, like, Roger, Jessica, the Weasels. Good point. Maybe have Eddie Valen if they could make him, like, a realistic like. I get that. And also, uh, Benny, the taxi cab and stuff. And also, um... 
I guess I see your point. I see your yeah, point. It doesn't don't, necessarily have to. Because technically, it was sort of a. It is sort of a Disney film. Yeah, just Disney owns it. They it's just was, they were just lucky enough to get some of the cartoons in it because they had like a Roger Rabbit attraction in uh, MGM, I believe, and uh, right, stuff. Right. So I forgot about that. But uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below what you thought about it and if you enjoyed our discussions on it and if you enjoyed Delmar being part of it. Originally, he wanted to be part of the Psychonauts one, which unfortunately he wasn't because he was kind of sick at the time. Yeah, I lost me voice. Yeah, so it wouldn't work. It but, happens when I get Yeah, let us know what you thought and let us know what you thought about the discussions and everything like that. Uh, and if you want me to pop up anytime soon, I mean, I kind of still him in my video, so you yeah. should... And sorry if we've been kind of behind on our hack and slash bros. It's just... Ooh. We've been busy with stuff. Oh, very much. busy. Yeah, but anyway, we'll catch you in the next video. And if you want to check out Dale Marth's channel, I'll leave a link for you to check him out. <coughs> okay, I, I screwed up I think much. we're done. Okay, yeah. I'll see you then. Take care, guys. Robin Hood for Kingdom Hospital! See ya.